Welcome to first and only SAS News Digest, featured on LinkedIn, covering news, events, and updates that are happening in SAS community worldwide. Our first article today talks about challenge common among many enterprise companies, creating an intelligence network that is able to manage bandwidth and network resources efficiently. SaaS applications are expected to replace nearly all enterprise apps by 2022, according to the Better Cloud Survey. This dramatic shift is now enterprises manage and deliver their applications is creating new demands on enterprise networks. That's where software-defined wide area networks, or SD1s, come into play. An SD1 is a software-controlled, responsive, and flexible wide area network. This technology offers companies optimization and efficient management of their network traffic. Definitely a technology we need in order to support widespread of SaaS adoption. Our next article about stepping into a new decade. We learned that 89% of the world business enterprises were already using SaaS solutions in 2018. And we near 2020, many SaaS companies starting promoting something called hybrid cloud delivery. This is an integration of both public and private clouds in a company solution. SaaS companies can leverage the cost-effective public cloud, but also store more confident information in a private cloud. This trend simplifies business, reduces operating cost, and helps secure data in an efficient way. SaaS revenue is predicted to hit a staggering $151 billion by 2022. And with the growth like this, hybrid cloud solutions will continue to grow and flourish throughout the coming decade. Next in the SaaS world is an article from techbeacon.com that dives in the world of SaaS applications and cloud security. The growing number of SaaS applications in use in contributing to the growth of cloud-based security options. Most organizations are using multiple cloud providers and they're looking for a way to secure them. Companies also want to centralize ways to apply security controls and compliance policies. This can be done through CASBS, or Cloud Security Access Brokers. CASBS are software applications that sit between cloud service users and cloud applications, monitoring and enforcing security policies. Most companies have already dedicated budget spending for CASB procurement, making this leading approach to security. Ongoing developments in the world of artificial intelligence are leading some experts to predict that the global AI diagnostics market will grow 27.4% between now and 2026. That will make it a $1.3 billion industry in upcoming five years. One sector fueling this growth is artificial intelligence in healthcare. A new collaboration between G Healthcare and LUnit, a South Korean startup will focus on artificial intelligence powered chest X-ray analysis. This new solutions is designed to spot and highlight eight of the most common heart conditions. A second strategic partnership was recently announced between Lucid Health and ADOC. Their collaboration aimed to use AI-powered diagnostics to help treat patients with critical life-threatening conditions. I'm sure we will see more of those strategic partnerships as healthcare sector continues to benefit from AI technologies. Our final article today takes us in the world of blockchain technology. The second annual Blockchain 50 lease was released, highlighting the growth of blockchain as a service, or BAS platforms and software. Established global giants like Microsoft and Amazon made the list alongside many newcomers from Russia and China and elsewhere. This BS platforms gives businesses of many sizes and industries the opportunity to experiment with blockchain apps without having to manage actual network. This way, companies can take advantage of many benefits of blockchain technology like improved transparency, accountability, and data security. And the best part? Companies can leverage these benefits without having to develop 
their own blockchain ecosystem. Gartner predicts that the value added by blockchain will exceed $360 billion by 2026, suggesting that enterprise blockchain technology is here to stay. I hope you enjoy SaaS News Digest. The SaaS News Digest belongs to all of us and provides the value to members of our community because of you. Please click on like and insightful button, share the SaaS News Digest on your LinkedIn page, and let's work together in developing this community and setting new global standards. My name is Artem Gassan. I'm the general partner at SaaS Growth Ventures, and my superpower is I fuel growth and revenue for SaaS companies. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.